Hello and welcome. Um, in this lecture, we're going to go ahead and uh, work on uh, roof design. Uh, this uh, project file that we have, um, that we have, we have been working on. So let's go ahead and we're going to put a gable roof over the garage, over the house, and over the extended living room. And right here, we're going to make some adjustments to make the roof look good. If we look at the uh, first floor plan view, we're going to put a roof over here, and a roof over this section, and some over right here and then put roof or extend in living room. Um, one of the things, go to the uh, project browser and expand your view tab right here. From there, let's go just go to the north elevation. I have picked it up here. We can see we have an elevation for roof plan. So we're going to go to this elevation roof plan. When we come back, we want to do garage roof and the extended living room. We don't have an elevation. We have to make one here. But we come back for that later. So let's go to the roof plan. Uh, from Project Browser, and we're going to come to this right here. Let me bring this to the center, and we're going to put a roof over here. Go up to the Architect tab, and click Roof. And then when you click Roof, you have this uh, drawing uh, tools available to you. And let's pick this one called Pick Walls. Then come back down in the Option bar right here, you have slope defined. That means we're going to put a slope on both sides of this wall right here. So we want to have slope being defined. Then the overhang, you could go 2 feet, you could go 18 inch, you could go, uh, I wouldn't go over 2 feet. So let's change the overhang to 18 inches. I'm going to click make this 0 to a 6 inch. So it become 1 for 6 inch, that's 18 inch. And uh, now when I come back in here, when I select this wall, don't click anything. Just hang over the wall. You can see that dotted green line inside and outside. You want to make sure that dotted green line is outside right here. Then click it. And do the same thing down bottom here for one of the wall. Okay. So now we have this. You can see this right here. That's the slope of the roof. And the slope of the roof, at this point it says right there, 9 and 12. We can change that if you want. You can make it 6 and 12. You can make it uh, 8 and 12 or it's up to you. And if you, let's keep it on 9 and 12 for now. Then, while we're at this here, we want to select these two walls, but we want to make sure the slope, the fine slope is unchecked, so there's no slope there. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Make sure my overhang is out here. Click one there, and then I'm going to come up here, click another one right there. So you're drawing basically like here. You could do all wall, but this is a River got a lot of good, good uh, command and, and uh, uh, lines in them that it makes things so much easier. So let's go to uh, uh, modify or hit escape twice so that we can get out of this command. And uh, right here, when you and modify tab over there, come up here and you can see this command right there. It says. Uh, trim extend to corner let's click on that so i'm going to go and click on this corner and i'm going to click right here and it's connected then we click on here and click on there and it's going to connect it and hopefully we did everything right let's go ahead and uh, click the check mark all right it says would you like to attach the highlight yes attach okay let's go to the 3d model see what we have done so when I go to 3D model right here, and we can see our roof, and let me turn around that. Um, that's good. Uh, you can see right here, some of the wall already been attached, but this wall hasn't been attached. To do that, we're going to click this wall. Once you click the wall, River is pretty smart. This tab shows up right here. It says uh, attach top to base. Click on that. And then gonna come click the roof and look at that it's amazing huh they already done it for you let's turn around go to the other side we do the same thing over here so you can see there's nothing up here and once you click the wall the ribbon changes and they give you the option and you're gonna say okay attach top slash base click on that and then we click on the roof and it does it for you and there it is Next, we like to go ahead and uh, the main entrance, you come in, you want to put a roof in there, a gable roof. Go on, 
perpendicular to this roof so snow will not fall on the uh, people walking in and out of there. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and put a, a gable roof over here. Let's go back to uh, roof plan. Then select the roof plan. Once you have the selected roof plan, the ribbon changes up here. Make this edit footprint. And then your option bar changes. Click on a, a pick wall. And make sure your slope is unchecked. Your overhang is 1.6 inches. And our roof is still 12 inch. And uh, our slope is 9, uh, which is unchecked anyway. So I'm going to come and pick this wall right here. And see the green dial light. Make sure that's outside. So click that. Then I'm going to come back up here and define slope and make sure it's 9 and 12 like the other one. Then I'm going to pick this other two short wall right there. There's one there. And then pick this one right here. Where'd you go? There it is right there. And when we did that, you notice that we lost this wall right here. So if we want to put this here, again, there's a slope, to, uh, that's a slope wall, so click on it. Okay, so we got slope here, we got slope this corner, we got slope this corner, and no slope this way. Make sure you do that, otherwise it's going to come out wrong. Let me say it again. Slope on this two short wall, and slope on both sides here, but the wall over interest doesn't have a slope on it. And let's clean this up and make a trim tool. Before you do that, make sure you get out of this command. Go escape twice or hit modify. Then when you come in here, pick up this right. This is the uh, extend wall. Click on that and click this and click this tool and it's all connected and let's say cross your fingers see how it comes out okay and looks like that from a plan view but how it is in the 3d oh yeah look at that huh came out nice so this is uh what we have next we're going to go ahead and uh, uh do the roof over the extended uh, living room and Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and change the view range so we can see the other section. So uh, from here, go to the property palette and go to view range. Right here, where it says view range, click edit. And then we want to go ahead and uh, make the bottom to... Uh, C2 unlimited and view depth also make that to unlimited and click apply click OK and now you can see everything down here uh, our goal is to go ahead and put a roof over here so let's go to the uh, um, north elevation actually let's go to south south might be easier let's go to the south elevation let me close this out and we go to the south elevation. Okay, when you're in the south elevation, you notice we don't have any level right here. And these two are the same level. So what we're going to do here, come up here where you have a level, click on level. And once you click on level, the option change a little bit. And here it says create plan view. Make sure that's checked. Check that. Then come up here, see, line up your cursor right where it is. See what I see right there? I'm gonna go ahead and see my see that line, see that line come all the way here and right on top of this it's where it is. Click and then it should be right there. So come all the way here. You come up here and come up here and right there and you're gonna click. And let's hit escape twice or hit modify for good luck. And let me make this bigger a little bit. And it says level A. Let's change this level. Click on, oh, no, click on right there. Come on. It's not working with me. There we go. Let's call it G roof, garage roof. G roof. Enter. And I ask you, would you like to correspond to view EI? And over here, I like to see that change to G roof. And I say yes. And that's done. And if you go to the, uh, uh, Project browser, we can see right there it says G roof, and that's where we want to go. So let's click on G roof, double click it, and this is where we here. But what it is, we again we have to adjust our uh, range view. 
So while we at the garage roof level, come back to property palette and go to view range, click anywhere. If you don't see it, just click anywhere. Once you click anywhere, you can have your property palette back where you want it. Come on down, come on down, come on down to... I went too far. View range right there. Click on view range. Again, set the bottom level to unlimited. And unlimited again. Click OK. Uh, error. View depth plan is set above the bottom of the clip plan. What? Associate level. No, I said unlimited. That's better. Okay, so now we have this. While we're here, we can go ahead and uh, put a roof over this section. To do this, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Come up here, click the roof, and uh, save the project. Uh, let, remind me later. So we click the roof, and then we're going to pick wall right here again. Let's uh, make sure your slope is defined because we want the slope be on this side and on this side. And overhang 1 foot 6 inches and our slope should be same as before. Just click right there. Oh, there it is. See it says 9 and 12. That's great. That's what we want. 9 and 12. Now I want to put a wall over here. I mean, uh, make sure your slope is unchecked. So I'm going to come up here and check the slope and then put a wall connection right there. There we go. Now, in order to do the roof, you have to have the all four sides closed. Let's move the command to the line command instead of pick wall. Click the line command and then right there we see the square. Click on the square and tie it in with this other square. So now you have this whole thing checked. And let's click the green mark. See, hopefully it worked. Yes, attached and uh, Let's see if it worked. Go to 3D and take a look at it, see if it worked out good. Oh yeah, came out good. Good, good. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, put the roof over the garage. Go back. Okay, so let's go back to uh, clicking uh, roof. And then we're going to pick wall again. Our slope is going to be right here. Oh, define slope. Make sure that's checked. One foot over six inch, uh, I mean, 18 inch overhang right here. And our slope is going to be same thing, 9 and 12. Pick the wall, and 9 and 12 is good. Pick this side, 9 and 12. It's going to be similar to this wall right here. And now we're going to go ahead and define and check the slope and put it right here, there. And for this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the line command and click on and slope is uh, undefined. Yep. There we go. We all set. We click uh, check mark. Yes, attach the wall. I should be done, really. Let's see if we did it good. So if I look at the 3D model right here, and we can see we got roof here. Let's uh, rotate it. Looks good, looks good, looks good. The walls are attached. Oh yeah, look at that. The model is all complete. Nice and good looking. All right, and if we just look at that, huh? Came out good. And if we got a south elevation, and you can see everything looks really good too. Okay, I hope this was... Uh, useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. You have a wonderful day.